Hey guys, how is it all going? So, we got some surprising news. Um, to be fair, we weren't expecting anything like this, but should I have announced a new movie to the VHS series? Now, we already know that there's one coming out like pretty soon, actually, sometime this month, VHS 99. But should I have announced that they're going to be releasing a VHS 85? which says coming in 2023, which I'll probably assume will be around this time next year it will get released. So that was a nice surprise that we are getting another one of these things. So they must be pretty confident in this new VHS movie coming out this month to announce that there's going to be another one already, probably coming out in a year's time. But what was more than surprising was certain names that are attached to this one. So you're going to see the list there of names that are attached to this. But the one that really stands out to me is uh, Scott Derrickson. Because I love a good chunk of his movies. You know, we did The Exorcism of Emily Rose, which I really, really do like. The Day the Earth Stood Still. Not so much. <laughs> Sinister, which I really enjoyed had some of the best jump scenes in that movie, the one with the lawnmower in particular. Honest to God, I proper shit myself when that bit happened at the cinema. I really did. And he also did Deliver Us From Hell, which I actually quite... In Sorry, Deliver Us From Evil, not Hell. Deli For some reason, I've wrote down Hell. I don't know why. But Deliver Us From Evil, which I actually quite like. But there's a lot of people that don't like that movie. But I did. I actually found it quite interesting, to be honest with you. Not one of his best. Don't get me wrong. But I actually did enjoy it for, for what it was. Also, as we all know, did the first Doctor Strange movie. And also did The Black Phone. Which is something I do have to watch. I just haven't got around to watching that one yet. So, yeah, having a director of that calibre attached to this project just makes it more exciting for me. And also attached to it is David Bruckner who did The Ritual, The Night House, and also did the new Hellraiser movie that just came out yesterday. And also, and I didn't know this, he directed the uh, segment on the first uh, VHS movie called Amateur Night, which is the one with that creepy girl with the eyes and turns into like a witch vampire thing. That segment of that one always creeped me out. Just the look of her just... Oh man, just even thinking about it just sends shivers down his spine. <laughs> it really does. But yeah, he's going to be directing a segment in this. And then we have other directors that are attached to this. And I'm, I hope that I say this right. You can see the names here, guys, but I really hope I say this right, okay? I think it's Gigi Sol Guerrero. I think I've said that right. If I have butchered that name, I apologise. But I am bad at <laughs> pronouncing names as you guys know so it shouldn't come as a shock but this young lady did episodes of the uh, the page tv series and she also did episodes of an anthology series called into the dark which i've never seen but excited to see what she does and there's also another young lady natasha kirkmini i think it is she did a movie called lucky that came out a couple of years ago and a gentleman called Mike P. Nelson, who directed the uh, new Wrong Ten movie, the Wrong Ten remake, which I haven't seen either, which I've been really meaning to get around to watching that, actually, because I did like the original Wrong Ten. I even quite like the sequel to Wrong Ten as well. The rest of them, fucking forget it. <laughs> fucking bad. Bad. And no, I won't review them. Some of you have been asking me to review these Wrong Ten movies. I'll do the first two, and then that's it. I'm not doing any more. Got to put me foot down sometimes. Okay, I'll I'll review them all. All right. At some stage. <laughs> but, yeah, I need to get around to watching that remake, actually. I've heard mixed things about it, but I've got a couple of my friends that I trust their opinions, and they actually quite enjoyed it. So, yeah. It's quite exciting that we're getting this, guys. I, I enjoy these movies. I think, like, I think I said in my VHS 99 video that I, I need to go back and... And watch rewatch the older ones because I remember certain parts of it and others I don't. 
So it's an excuse to go back and rewatch these because I do enjoy them. I am looking forward to the new one and I will have a review out for that for you guys. I'm, I think it's probably in the next couple of weeks it's out, I think. I think it's later on in the month, isn't it? I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll double check that, but I'll definitely have a review out, guys. And what are your thoughts on this announcement? Are you excited for this movie? Are you looking forward to the one coming out this month? VHS, VH, VHS 99. There you go. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> Leave a comment below, guys. It is always a pleasure hearing from you. And as always, please take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you again real soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye now.